In Blood, An Epic History of Medicine and Commerce, by Douglas Starr, the author takes readers on a journey through the fascinating and complex history of blood, exploring its medical, scientific, and commercial aspects. Through meticulous research and engaging storytelling, Starr provides a comprehensive analysis of how human understanding and utilization of blood have evolved over the centuries. Starr begins by delving into the ancient practices of bloodletting and transfusions, shedding light on the mysticism and superstition that once surrounded these procedures. He describes how early civilizations, including the Greeks and Romans, believed that imbalances in the body's four humors could be rectified through bloodletting. However, this primitive approach gave way to a more systematic understanding of blood's role in the body as the field of medicine progressed. One of the central themes in the book is the interplay between science and commerce. Starr underscores how the commercialization of blood products, particularly plasma, has played a pivotal role in shaping medical practices. He traces the rise of blood banks and the establishment of the Red Cross, highlighting the altruistic efforts of volunteers during World War I and World War II. However, he also exposes the darker side of the blood trade, where companies exploited donors, particularly in the case of plasma collection, for profit. Starr draws attention to the emergence of the pharmaceutical industry as a major player in the blood business. The production of clotting factors and other blood-related medications became a lucrative enterprise, driven by the needs of patients with hemophilia and other bleeding disorders. Yet, this newfound reliance on commercial products raised ethical questions about the commodification of life-saving treatments. The author skillfully navigates through the challenges faced by the medical community, particularly in the early 20th century, in ensuring the safety of blood transfusions. He discusses the devastating consequences of blood-borne diseases like syphilis and HIV, which led to the development of rigorous testing and screening procedures. This part of the book underscores the delicate balance between the demand for blood and the need to protect patients from potentially life-threatening infections. Starr's narrative takes a dramatic turn as he examines the tragic episode of the AIDS crisis and its impact on the blood industry. The author exposes the negligence and cover-ups that allowed contaminated blood products to be distributed, resulting in the infection of thousands of people. This section of the book serves as a poignant reminder of the human cost of profit-driven healthcare. Throughout the book, Starr skillfully weaves together personal stories of patients, donors, and medical professionals, adding a human dimension to the historical and scientific narrative. He introduces us to individuals like Carl Landsteiner, who made groundbreaking discoveries in blood typing, and Charles Drew, an African-American physician who made significant contributions to the field of blood banking. These stories serve as powerful examples of how individuals have shaped the course of blood medicine. Starr also touches on the global dimension of the blood trade, discussing the challenges of regulating blood products across borders and the ethical dilemmas surrounding the export of plasma to countries with less stringent safety standards. He illustrates how blood has become a global commodity, subject to the forces of supply and demand on an international scale. In conclusion, Blood, An Epic History of Medicine and Commerce, by Douglas Starr is a meticulously researched and thought-provoking exploration of the multifaceted role of blood in medicine and commerce. Starr's narrative seamlessly weaves together scientific discoveries, historical events, ethical dilemmas, and personal stories, providing readers with a comprehensive understanding of the complex and evolving relationship between blood, science, and business. This book serves as a compelling reminder that the story of blood is not just a medical or scientific one but also a deeply human one, filled with triumphs and tragedies that continue to shape our world today.